We've got the, the GSEs, the government sponsored enterprises, okay? That's Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And roughly 53% of all of our mortgages here in the United States are held within those two massive companies, but they just passed a provision. And that starts on September 1. And I want you to tell us what that is, who's affected by this, and then I want your take on what's going to happen, what you think is going to happen to the market. All yours. Okay, so a conventional financing is is a is a definitely a uh, ultimate goal for the homeowner, if you will, for for when it comes to what type of mortgage they want to be in. And the major reason why is because if you have 20% or more equity in your home, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have that that those uh conventional loans allow you to to avoid mortgage insurance conventional financing is either right off the jump an attractive uh loan for somebody if they have a 20 percent down or more down payment um or if they live they live at the house long enough and they start to acquire 20 percent as they make payments so everybody's trying to get to a conventional financing and Thanks. then once you get there they're on the, the next step is to get the rate as low as possible because that will help get their, you know, less interest. The next worst thing in a mortgage is paying high interest. Nobody likes to pay interest. So they try to work down the payment. So what's been happening as a result of that is during this pandemic, the rates have just been going like this, like I'm not like this, but like this, like they've just been dropping. And, and so what's happened is, is, is the, is the, the smart homeowner, this, the, the, the financially smart, individual that you know and not that you have to be financially smart but like everybody's looking to say hey can i drop my rate and refinance can i drop yeah, my rate? yeah people watched it from the beginning and they refinanced uh you know at a certain spot yeah but then it kept falling and it kept going so after a couple of months you know they maybe they did this in, in in february march and then come june or july they're still dropping so they're like all right let's refinance again like let's get a lower rate again so what's happening is everybody keeps refinancing down and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are, are losing out on massive profits that they have to run their business on because they're just continually lowering rates and not getting the interest that they were planning on getting with people that are um, constantly paying off their mortgages. And what they did is, is they're adding 50 basis points yep. to our pricing on interest rates on the loan level. So Half of a percent half a percent they're adding it as a as a cost to anybody that's refinancing so just conventional loans on refinances just fannie mae and freddie mac as of at the moment as yep. they're affecting our interest rates so that means that the low two percent uh two and a half two point eight seven five two point nine nine three percent those are some of the popular rates that have been happening in the last couple of months that those are not those are going to go away now and less people are going to be incentivized to refinance because that rate isn't on the table the caveat to that is it's not affecting purchase money business so if you're a homeowner and you're iffy about whether you're refinancing and staying at the house or putting it on the market and finding something different you're now going to have more of a reason to go buy a house agreed than you are to, to stick where you're at